We are back once again at this $430 storage unit that we just got done pulling $10,000 worth of merchandise out of. Now that we've gone through all the new stuff, it's time to see what was hidden in the back. Let's do it. <laughs> Let me out, guys. He locked me in here. I'm leaving. Yep, he locked it. Help! Help! What? Thank you. You're supposed to let me out, not lock me in the unit. Yeah, solid opportunity. I had to take it. <sighs> I guess the best place to start would be the book bag or suitcase, whatever you want to call it, sitting in the front piece of luggage. Let's see what's in there. Well, nothing in there. Nothing's in there, but it's too heavy to be empty, I can tell you that. All right, let's see what we have here. A photo album that's completely empty. Random. Uh, I think it's a rosary, but it doesn't have the cross on it. It's just the beads. Oh, look, a mirror. <laughs> And then we have a stack of records. Right. A Child's Christmas, Perry Como, Robert Shaw. I'm just gonna go through a few of these to see if anyone recognizes them. It looks like mostly Christmas. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Yeah, these are like all Christmas records in there. This is my gift to you. Here oh, it is. Thanks, Christmas. It's all, it's literally, I'm not even gonna open it. There's zero point of opening it. No. That whole thing is just Christmas decorations, but that thing is what I'm kind of curious about. What do you think to the what then? I don't know, let's pull it out. Right here. Uh oh. I think it's holding everything. It's holding everything. That's what the budget, <laughs> I felt the weight to it. Maybe we shouldn't pull it out quite yet. Start from the top. You want a Van Von Dutch purse? Is that what it says? Mm. There's even some stuff in there for you. Okay. Look, you can have the purse. It comes with a pair of headphones, uh, some lotion, and some, some dirt. safety pins and dirt. You want it? No. What's that? Uh, what is that? Come here. Come here, stop fighting me. A little tiger pin. Are those tigers? I don't even know. Okay, it's a uh, cat's maybe? All right, but look at the purse itself. It doesn't look bad from the outside. Then you get in the inside, you're like, ooh. What else should I pull out? No, I'm getting pulled from the top. Pull this, this banker's guy. box. What is this guy doing here? I feel like this is made of wood, actually. Like, this is hand carved. I'm not sure what he's meant to be exactly, but hmm. he's hand carved out of wood. That's pretty cool. So I guess I'll bring this whole thing over. Sure. All right, don't cause an avalanche. Don't cause an avalanche. There we go. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. All right, could you see this guy good in there? Yeah, but better out here. There he is. Confederate rebel hat. Oh, uh, kids books. Doggy. Doggy. <laughs> Anything in this bag or is this just holding like I don't know, if there's nothing in it, we're going to use it to store other stuff anyway. So, it'll work. It's literally a whole bag for a white tiger. tiger. That's all that's in the bag, <laughs> the entire bag. Makes sense, makes sense. What about mysterious creatures? I see Ooh. some of those sometimes. You ever go to 7-Eleven at like 2 a.m., you'll see a lot of mysterious creatures. Yeah. <laughs> some more books. What is this? Are these all books? Is that like the satanic star? No, never mind. Mysteries of mind, time, and space. I can't read that. I'll go crazy. <laughs> Triple play MLB game from 2002. It's mm -hmm. actually complete. Weird. All right. Then we got, well, a bunch of books. We're not going to go through those. This box is like extremely heavy. I was trying to pick it up with my finger because I thought it was going to be light like the other one. But no, it sounds like dishes, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see if that's what it is. Oh, that's 100% what it is. It's an entire set. This like flower around the outside pattern with the white in the middle, made by Gibson. So you people that know dishware, let me know if Gibson's a good brand because I definitely don't know dishware. And we also had this little guy that was on top, like a little basket with flowers and stuff like that on it. But let's see what's in the green box first and then we'll be able to pull out that wooden thing and see what's in there. What, what, what's in here? Let's see. Dignity, that's what's in here. Is it just open like that? Ew, it's actually paperwork. Let's see if there's anything interesting. What's this blue thing here? Oh, high school around here. High school diploma. They can get that back. These are pictures. Very old pictures, look at these. These are like old black and white photos and stuff. Wow, look at the envelopes on there. I just wanna look at them myself. It looks like one of them said Nagasaki. Is that like from World War II? 
The panoramic being of the portrait of Nagasaki. What? Point. Oh, is that where the bomb hit? Let's see. Can I get this off? Oh, it might be. Look at this. No, maybe that's just the city. I don't know. It's interesting. I wonder if there's dates on these. Whoa. These are actually hand taken pictures. I thought these were like postcards or something at first because of the wrapper. But this is cool stuff right here. This is, hey look, greetings from Richmond, Virginia. That's so old. That's weird. These are really cool though. So we're gonna look through these old pictures and stuff for sure. That's definitely interesting. We got a VHS of aftercare instructional videos. So we don't wanna look at that. This book, whatever this is, has something stuck in it. Oh, more photos. These year is this an old yearbook? That's exactly what it is. Look at that. A really old yearbook with some other people's pictures stuck in it. So for the most part, this whole thing I think is just personal paperwork. We'll get back. Now we should be able to move this wooden thing and see what's inside of it. Because it's taped shut. What the heck? It's got a plug to it. So I thought it was just trying to pull me back. It's like a ghost or something, like don't touch that. So Maybe it's like a light up box or a musical box or something. There's definitely stuff in there. You hear it moving around all over the place. So let's move this tape here. Is that the only piece? Now there's one more piece. And let's see what's in there. What's your guess? I don't um, even have a guess. I don't know. It's a really old plug. So I figured there might just be a light in there. With all that rattling around, that's a lot of sound. I don't know. Stupid tape. It's like a little tiny piece. Okay, there it is. Oh, it's CDs. What's the plug for? This. There's a light. There's a light, but other than that, it's literally just full of loose CDs. Seriously? All the way through? Yeah, all the way through. There's probably 150 loose CDs in there. Well, that was not what I was expecting. So I was about to grab this box, and I'm just genuinely curious what in the world this thing is. Like, it's the weight of a big rock, but it's very shiny smooth. looking and smooth do you think it's just a painted rock yeah it has a lot of coats of paint on it if that's the case yeah i mean a lot because this thing's super smooth i'm not really too sure but maybe it's like resin or something on it i don't know but whatever it is it's it's definitely interesting it's cool. all right let's get this box out of here because i'm curious what's in the box you think it could be more new stuff could be Let's see, let's see, let's see. The side of the box says VHS tape. Ugh. We have a sign. Hey, this is, you know, a genuine request for the people that dislike our videos. Can you please just go suck someplace else? Yeah. Like, no, I want to suck here. I hate myself and I hate seeing you happy. That's all right. Let's see, what's in here? Uh, VHS is, ooh, do we have more of the <gasps> common in black diamonds? Oh, oh. <laughs> we have the black diamond rescuers. Let's see, black diamond ant. No, it's not really black diamond. Here's a truck sneaking up on us. Penguins, jerk of all trades. And what is that, Robin Hood down there? Oh, an orange one. Spy Kids or something. Whatever, a bunch of VHSs. I should probably start pulling from the top to avoid, you know, causing an avalanche, right? You should. All right, good, let's see. Ugh, like this box up here. Oh, this looks very weird. What the heck is this stuff in here for? Look. So, a basket, part of a puzzle, a very old speaker, a softball, a piece of that, a dream catcher. Ooh, now I'm interested. If this is actually cashews, I'll try. <laughs> what do you think's no in way. here, though? Not cashews. It's stuck. Oh my goodness. It's like rusted shut, seriously. I don't know if I can get it. We're getting it little by little. Oh. Marvels. But look at this. Check out the pocket watch. Hmm, I wonder if this could be gold. Open. Open. What's it say in there? La Pan La Grand? I think. Can you tell? La Graham? La Graham? La Graham? I don't know if these have markings like regular jewelry would, but there's that. There's a watch in there too. What kind of watch is that? A Weng Wenger. W-E-N-G-E-R. <laughs> is the rest of it just all marbles? They are old marbles, so I know that people always 
tell me old marbles are worth money. So we we'll never know. Little skeleton keys. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing else buried in them besides these few dice and all those marbles. No, genuinely all the rest is just marbles. Anything else in here interesting? These things that everyone always gets from the beach. I think that's just about it. A flashlight. Oh, what's that? A very smashed iPod or I old iPhone. It's an iPod. Maybe an old iPod, but look at that screen. Yeah, so yeah, nothing else there. Hey, NWA VH, or um, cassette. But yeah, I think that's all in this box. Very random. All right, guys, this is a question you gotta answer for me in the comments. How did we go from innocent kid to, I don't even know what it is now. It's a thing, maybe a part person. I don't think it's full person, but how do we transform from kid star to weird, creepy thing now that rides tools and I'm not gonna get into detail. Somebody answer that in the comments, please. Let's try to get this baby bassinet, I think it's what it's called, right? And it's stuck on these Christmas lights. This is very bad, very, very bad. Okay. There we go. We got it. Oh, after you. <laughs> All right, this thing's heavy. I thought it was gonna be empty, but no, it's full of just clothes, maybe? Let's see, picture that personal, that's personal. So we'll try to give them back. What? Ugh, this. A CD player. Good times, good times. <laughs> simpler times, simpler you times. You can't walk with it because it skips. No. Uh, well, looks like a bunch of crap in here. What's this? Ooh, jewelry Ooh. box that has nothing in it. Um, there's some wrapping paper down there, some clothes, the books. Everything in here is crap. Yeah, this thing is full of just crap, but the bassinet itself looks old to me. What do you think? Look at the sides of it underneath the thing. Yeah, it definitely looks old. It's good condition though. Yeah, so that might be worth a little something, but everything inside, not so much. So I just had to pull this box out because underneath of it was all this broken glass in here. And yeah, if I moved the box, the broken glass would have went everywhere. So, you know, I had to pre-plan there a little bit. Well, we have a bear. A bear. A lot of like Native American stuff in here. The bow and arrow, the dream catchers. I've seen other pictures and stuff like that. So I'm assuming they're really into the culture or they were part Native American. These personalized awards and things like that. We'll make sure they get back. But this artwork and stuff, no. It'll go to our yard sale. Look at them all. There's like the, that looks good. I mean, you can tell they're painted, but they look really good. A couple more of these Native American ones. Well, that one's busted. That one's not. Let's see what else is in here. What is this? A shoe? Ew. A beat up shoe. This is a bike chain? Yep. Looks like a bike chain to me. What's over here? Another sh one shoe? Uh, there's an award in here. I give it to you. Whatever it says, you have to fit it, alright? Okay. Oh, no, no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not. <laughs> oh, birthday boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, the rest of it is just like, it looks like birthday party stuff. There's like the little napkins, there's a the little streamers you blow and things like that. I guess now I should start reaching from this top. Before I pull this stuff down guys, make sure you do us that favor and leave the video a like, a thumbs up, whatever you want to call it and help us out. And please just hit the share button for us. That's what helps us out the most. So let me try to get, what's his name down? Jack. Jack. We found this exact dude before. You know what's even weirder? I'm like 90% sure. Oh, this is plastic. Uh -huh. I was about to say, we found like a <laughs> lamp that looked just like this before, but it was actual glass. This one's just plastic. The fact that it's plastic makes me probably think it's just a replica. But we got this dude here. He still has his tag on him. <laughs> nice new guy. What's the girl's name? Sally. Let's get Sally down in this wooden chair. I guess let's get the wooden chair first. Because look at that. It's kind of cool. I want to yeah. assume it's old. Yeah, old, think? definitely like a refinished project. Yeah, but I mean, if somebody wants to re-sand it, repaint it, that could be cool. Let me get her down. Get off the top, lady. Sally! Ugh. Got her right at the rope. I think she needs some McDonald's. Yeah, she's looking a little skinny. <laughs> One double quarter pounder, Sally. <laughs> yes. So there's those two guys, and then let's to organize this and get the box out. Now I was able to get this tote down from first glance. It looks like it's a bunch of Halloween decorations, which is gonna be a little late for our yard sale, unfortunately. This is a heavy leather jacket, though. What brand is that? Perry Ellis Portfolio? Not too sure. But look in here. Is that birdhouse considered Halloween? Is this creepy? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of old and dirty. painted to be. <laughs> How about a human skull? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to take it all out. There's 
the Grim Reaper. There's even a gun in here. An old revolver. And the rest of it is a bunch of gravestones. So I just took out a box because it was full of broken glass and look what was underneath of it. I can't even tell you how old this metal detector is. Look at the handle even. Like what era do you think this is from? There's look, model 220A. But it doesn't really have a brand that's visible on it so I don't know how to really Google that. But look at this. Weird. I mean, it's it probably has no value at all, but it's definitely cool and weird to look at. Let's take this box out. There's not a lot in it, but I see a card in it, and you guys know I love birthday cards. See, it's a hubby. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> the Christmas card. Yeah, it's almost Christmas. I love you with all my heart. I'm so lucky to have a guy like you. You're so amazing. You put the wrong your. Come on. <laughs> You're so amazing. You're a wonderful. Seriously, you wrong your again boyfriend i can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you oh right. you know i didn't write it then what you know i didn't write why? it why because you, you can't use the wrong your i would have used the right your hey this is also very relevant to the people driving around here with very loud vehicles look <laughs> see sucky losers not allowed especially if you have a wild diesel truck and you like to constantly drive it around in circles in here and just pass us over and over again what are they doing i don't know but yeah this is more so to the haters um, the rest of it's in here. It's just junk. I just kind of pulled it out, honestly, just because I saw the birthday card and I wanted to see what else was in it. A phone. Yeah, trash. All right, got another box off the top stack in the back. Let's see what's in this one. What is that? Come here. Photo album. A recipe book. A handwritten <laughs> recipe Sorry. book. Look at all that. Everything is on index cards. <laughs> cool. That's weird, but cool, I guess. Makes it a little personalized. <laughs> a Star Wars puzzle. Uh, Helsing, it's an anime book. Yeah, look, a manga book. <gasps> Come here, somebody's driver's license. Now I can finally kind of look this person up because I've literally found nothing on them yet. Just so I can see what's going on, why they lost the unit or try to figure it out. Uh, what is this? Is this supposed to be like a travel kit thing? Yeah, it's for something. All right, thank you. <laughs> That's what I thought. I knew it was for something. I just didn't know what. <laughs> What's that? Is that a Lion, Lion King? King? I was about to ask you that. Is that Simba? Lion King? It looks like it's just to do something, but I don't know how to activate it. It's got mechanics in it for sure. I just don't know how to make it work. Hey. What else is in here? Empty purse, plate, and just uh, calamine lotion. Yeah, this is junk. All right, guys, somebody explain to me. We're out in the middle of a storage facility. I just happened to notice. I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to focus on this guy or not. There he is. There's just some random guy parachuting like it's a normal thing off in the distance. No idea where he came from or where he's going. Cause I mean, we're kind of near the city. So I'm like, where's this dude landing? But yeah, I'm glad I can focus on him. There's just a random dude parachuting. So I just moved out some wrapping paper that was just ripped open and check out what was underneath of it. This old red garage mechanic on duty M&M car. Now I don't know if that's, pla actually it's ripped, I can touch it. Okay, I think it's plastic, but it has nutrition facts on it. So I'm guessing that like, actually the trunk thing here is full of M&Ms. So I wonder when this expired, cause this looks really old. I don't even see a date on here, but yeah. <laughs> How old, you wanna try those M&Ms? No. I mean, they're probably just 10 or 15 years old. They could be good still. No? No. Fine. So we have these two little like religious pieces of the nativity scene in there and I don't really know if they're vintage or newer but like if you look on the side here you could tell this guy was like two pieces kind of put together so I don't know if that means it was just cheap or if that means it's actually one of the older ones. If anyone knows how to determine the age on these guys that's kind of a very specific question. Let me know. By the way forgot to point out last time the Dr. Pepper can is unfortunately just a dr pepper can nothing else unfortunately i thought it was gonna be a stash can but no it's just a dr pepper can let's grab this box off the back corner see if there's anything in it Oof, what is this b101.5 spongebob spongebob uh a halloween pez the rest of the bag is books so yeah i'm not gonna go through all that dude is this all bathroom stuff first aid kit the mirror though Ooh, that looks like it could be silver doesn't it yeah that might be a silver mirror not sure about that but the rest of it yeah the rest of it's just gross bathroom stuff let's pull out this blue tote here with no top Ugh, 
get up here. Okay, there's broken glass all on the side here, so gotta kinda watch out for that. Little puzzle pieces, missing puzzle. Uh, this more of that same like anime book we saw earlier. Ooh, what is this? Is it a knife thing? I think it's supposed to be, but there's no knife in it. What's this? Uh, well, that doesn't work. Don't work. Boo. The rest of it in here? There's one of the Smurfs. <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing a lot in here besides more like bathroom crap mixed in with like cheap kids crap. So look at this, like you see some bathroom lotions and look, even the Lego or Mega Block thing is broken. So yeah, this is just trash. So we just moved a bunch of trash out of the way and there's not a whole lot left, so I'm just gonna show it to you. We got a very pretty blue bowling ball, by the way. A weird, older kid's toy. A gateway laptop, very old, but did my light just cut off? <laughs> it did, but it's still going. Oh, okay. I thought it blew. Like, I did too, I was gonna say, really? A gateway laptop that obviously has about 12 million in Bitcoin on it with some kids' toys. Some more kids' toys. An exact bike, which is weird that I remember Brandon had when he was very little. I remember the exact color scheme on it. And then an old school karaoke machine in the back. Other than that, not much left. Let's just say the back of the unit did not quite live up to the front of the unit at all. If you're like me, you're probably wondering what in the heck happened? How did this storage unit go from half full of brand new $10,000 worth of merchandise to the back, maybe like a hundred bucks of cheap, mostly crap? It's weird, right? So we dug into this and did a little bit of research. Didn't come to any definite conclusions, but I can tell you what I found out so far. First off, we looked up that brand, Skyline Wares, and I wanted to check with the BBB, the Better Business Bureau, and see if they were an accredited business in. Well, they weren't. So that was like step one. And they had two reviews on there. Both the reviews were one star saying that this company was a complete scam. So I was already a little suspicious there. But then I wanted to see where they sold through. So we went to Amazon and found their store and they have sold thousands of items through Amazon and have pretty good ratings on just about everything. I mean, some of the onesies have over a thousand a pair. A couple have over 2000 reviews on them. So. They've been doing pretty good on Amazon, which is weird. So then I went to the company's Facebook page because I wanted to try to find out who the administrator was and to see if whoever was running the company was the same person that owned the storage unit. And it was like four people who have very foreign names and the person that owned the storage unit had like a very traditional American name. So I was like, okay, that's not the same person. It's not the same family. So it was, it was shady as you know what. Somehow the lady that owned the storage unit got a hold of all this merchandise but didn't work for them because when I looked up their company, they had no employees or anything listed like that. It was literally just like a family run thing, which is just really, really strange. So then I started to look into the woman we found the driver's license. So I started to look into her background, see if I could find anything that she did. She was arrested this year in May for petty theft. So I was like, Petty theft in May, this is October. This is probably a good chance that this is why the unit's going up for auction, but is it related to the company or is it something completely different? Because realistically, if petty theft isn't it under $1,000 or something, what we found was not under $1,000. So it's not like they could have stole all that and put that in a unit and that been considered petty theft, or was that just all they got caught with? You know what I mean? It's just, it's a mystery and I don't have the answer and it's bothering me that I don't. So I'm hoping somebody out there watching this can maybe put together the pieces. The people that owned the company were not the person to own the storage unit. There was no history I found or evidence I found that the person that owned a storage unit even worked for them, but somehow that person ended up with $10,000 in merchandise from their store. And they were arrested this year for petty theft. So I'm at a complete loss. Maybe you guys can put it together. Hope you enjoyed the two videos. Leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.